Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Uh, today's video, we are putting the GTO out of its misery because the brakes don't work. I have a check engine light that won't go away with a lean code and all that stuff. So today's video, we are going to be putting the GTO out of its misery. Yeah, I'm just kidding, but those problems do exist. So no big deal. We're gonna try and fix it in today's video. So yeah, I do have a check engine light. I do have uh, two lean codes, one's for bank one, bank two. So that could be a variety of things. Uh, it could be an injector that's not putting out enough fuel. It could be a bad coil, which I think if it was a bad coil, it would actually read rich because you're getting fuel that's not getting burned, pushed through the exhaust. Uh, it could be a stuck injector, an injector that's just not spewing enough. It could be fuel pressure. It could be a bad O2 sensor. So we're gonna go through some steps to Trying to figure out what the problem is. Could be a vacuum leak too. Could be uh, air getting in. And the only place I could think of a vacuum leak getting is, I don't know if you could see this, but this little map sensor keeps popping up. So I don't know if air is actually getting through there. Maybe that's where it's pulling that up from. Or maybe somewhere else. Maybe the intake manifold's not down all the way, which that shouldn't be the case. I torqued that thing down. So there are a variety of things that could lead to those check engine lights. Now I've already gone ahead and changed the spark plug wires and the spark plugs and that did not do the trick. So we gotta, we gotta do a little research here and try and figure out the issue. Now as far as the brakes go, it still stops, but the pedal's super squishy. I drove it around the block a few times the other day and just slammed on the brakes and it stopped. And actually the one time it actually like skidded for like five inches. So as soon as I slammed on the brakes, it went Arr! So at least got front brakes. The back are kind of working. Just got to figure that out. Uh, I still can't communicate with the ABS module. Slight problem there. So I'm not sure what the issue with that is, but we're going to figure it out. Probably not in this video. I'll probably end up doing that off camera because there's just a lot that goes into it. And I don't want to bore you with like a half hour video of like, aha, I found it. Or there's a half hour video and I did not find it. <laughs> so... Oh man, this fucking thing. Should've just left it stock. What did he say? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? Anywho, I'm gonna start this thing up, get it out in the driveway so I have some room. And uh, let's get going on this thing. All right guys, one of the first tests we're gonna do is test the fuel system. So, if you haven't already, if you're going to do this, Get one of them there, fuel injection pressure testers, because I will need that for this process. And then, well, there's a good long screwdriver. And then if fuel pressure is good, you take one of these their screwdrivers, you can put it against the fuel injector, put your ear up to it, you'll hear it tick, 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 tick. So it should tell us we have a good fuel injector. So let's dive into that and see if we have any issues in the fuel system. We're getting 60 pounds of pressure, which I think is pretty normal for this car. So I'll show you real quick. So the uh, fuel test seems to be working now, being that the injectors are clicking and clacking and doing their little thing, doesn't necessarily mean it's working. It could be clogged and it's just going through the motions, but initially the fuel test seems good. Now the check engine light and the leanness, that could also be connected to the tune that was put into it. Because if you're new to the channel, I took the computer out and I sent it out to East Coast Supercharging where they did an initial tune on it so I could drive it down there, get it dynoed and all that stuff. Now my only contention to the coils being good is it has a rough startup and then it 
seems to run fine. Like I driven it around. I actually drove it like two miles the other day, just uh, ripping around the block, trying to get the brakes to work. Cause I was trying to get to a higher speed to slam on the brakes, see if maybe the ABS would kick in, but it didn't. But uh, I drove it about two miles and it didn't seem to be having an issue. So maybe it truly is lean, I don't know. The only other thing to do is get under the car and see if a harness got melted or maybe a wire got melted for a oxygen sensor. Those oxygen sensors are old. Uh, I'm trying to think if I ever replaced one. I think for the most part they're original. I know I changed one when I was putting the headers on initially, and this is 16, 17, 18 years ago when I put them on. Uh, I know I was pulling the oxygen sensor off of the stock exhaust. It was cross-threaded, so I had to get a new one. But other than that, I don't think I've ever replaced the oxygen sensors. So that could be something to look into because when I pulled them off, they were just sitting for months and maybe they went bad, who knows? But anyway, let's dive into the ignition coils and see if I can not get electrocuted. All right guys, now I'm gonna go on to testing the ignition coils. Uh, my plan of attack on this, I was gonna do one of two things. One, I was gonna take a little test light Oh geez. and ground it. And while I have it grounded, have the test light there, pull the spark plug wire off the coil and see if I can get an arc off of it. But that's kind of sketch and there's not a lot of room in there, so I don't know if I want to do that. So I think my plan of attack on this one is just to start the car up, have it running, and just pull each spark plug wire off of the coil. It should run like dog shit if you do that. So if you do that eight times and it runs like dog shit each time, should be good on the coil, should be. So let's test that. And then if that checks out, then we will go on to a little vacuum test because I'm pretty sure I have a vacuum leak somewhere. No doubt. That's gonna be a ghetto setup, just wait. All right, let's uh, start this thing up and pull some spark plugs and hear some shitty engine running. So the passenger side was good. I was pulling the spark plug wire off the coil and you could actually see the spark flying across. So let me try the driver's side, see what we got. That I had no right. All right, we're getting spark on them all. Uh, I'll show you an example real quick of what you're looking for. Uh, I just got zapped on one of them because there wasn't a lot of room. Uh, it didn't hurt too bad, but it sucked a little bit. So don't get zapped. So I guess uh, we're gonna pull this out. And then hopefully you can see it on camera. But you can hear the snap, but I don't know if you really see it, but you can hear the spark going across. Let's keep the engine going, but we pull far enough away, I guess. Still put out. So we're good there. All right, so the coils seem good. They're all firing away, so there's not an issue there. Uh, let me shut the vehicle off, and then uh, I'm going to show you the little ghetto rig I got for doing a vacuum test. That should be interesting. Hopefully it holds. All right, guys, welcome to my bootleg setup. I have an air compressor with a little air and my Ziploc bag that's taped on. So hopefully this holds pressure. So the whole point of this is to pump air in and hopefully hear hissing somewhere where air is escaping. And hopefully it's not escaping through here. I duct taped the shit out of it. It should hold, maybe. So here we go. I'm gonna puncture a little hole. There we go. And I'm gonna seal it and let's see how this works. All 
All right, guys, how do you uh, reimagine this little process? Uh, it does look like I'm getting a little bit of a leak on the brake booster line going to the intake manifold, but my bag was leaking that I had over it, so. This is my new setup. I just duct taped shit out of it, put a little hole. I'm gonna shove that little air line in there and hope this doesn't blow off. So, got my soapy water sitting there being ready and I'm going to insert that air line right in here. Oh, daddy. <clears throat> All right, so that's actually kind of sealed. So I'm gonna squirt a few things again and see what we got. Okay, so back here is my suspected leaks. Let's see, this is water. Do you do? I'll do it. So this holding pressure better. It's just slowly leaking out of here, into the engine probably too. Yeah, so it's definitely bubbling there. I don't know if that's gonna cause an issue, but that little map sensor seems to be not leaking. Let me just check a couple more things while we're at it. Check right here on the intake manifold. Okay, so one's leaking there. Gonna get a little, get a little something on there. Big manifold's not leaking. So maybe it is just a booster. Because I'm not seeing anything else. Let's hit here real quick. Get the rest of that, make sure. Spray that, that's not leaking. Intake manifold, make sure we're not leaking air. All right, guys, the only uh, leak I seem to be finding is right here on the brake booster line, right here. Let's see what I can get in there. Yeah, right there. So I'll squirt it again, and I'll spray some air in there, and then you'll see it bubble. So we got a bunch of friggin' there. And then we'll pump in some air. Let's see if I get in there closer. See the bubbles coming out? So that seems to be our problem. All right, let me adjust that, uh, that little clamp on there and I'll try it again and uh, see if it works. Cause it seems like the clamp's a little far back. Maybe that's the problem. But we'll find out. So let me uh, adjust that real quick and go from there. Hey guys, I trimmed that little vacuum line up. I couldn't get it on all the way, but it's on enough and it's not leaking. I had to chop a little bit of the fat end off, which sucked, but it's holding. So I'm gonna throw the intake back on and fire it up and see if we lose that little check engine light. Or at least lose the part that says that I have a lean lean. The misfire may still be there, who knows? But let's find out. All right, guys, in the car, let's uh, fire this bad boy up and see if we still have a check engine light. I got my scanner here so we can check it if it is. But as you saw in the previous clips, there's definitely a vacuum leak going on there. It didn't seem to be stumbling. Check engine light's still on. A little tired. Being that there was a vacuum leak on the uh, brake pedal or on the brake line, let's see if uh, seems to be happy. Oil pressure gauge is around 48. The vacuum line's holding up. Seems happy. Let me go the scanner on, see what it does. Okay, here we go, scanner. Let's go to OBD2. Shut up, key. All right, let me turn the key in the on position. There we go. Let's see, we got still three codes. Let's go to read codes, stored codes. 
So it still says lean, lean, random multiple misfires. So we'll escape that, escape, erase codes. Are you sure you want to erase? Absolutely. Erase done, press any key to continue. All right, fire in the hole. Well, check engine light went away, so that's good. Uh, let it run for a little bit. I may drive it around the block, because usually when I drive, it's when that kicks in. Hey guys, go for a ride around the block, see what we got. Uh, the brake pedal actually feels better for some reason. Maybe that vacuum leak was uh, affecting it. Alright, so far no check engine light, so that's good. Traction control just turned off, because who needs that? But it sounds like it's alright. So now I rev the engine, it doesn't want to stall out anymore, so maybe it was that vacuum leak. I'm going to let it chill. I'll take it for a few more drives, and we'll see if we develop any issues. I'll get back to you on that. If not, then we'll go to the outro. All right, guys, took the car for a test run earlier, and check engine light came back on, but it was for a misfire, which is weird to me because the car seems to be running fine. It starts up a lot better. Uh, the vacuum leak seems to have been fixed. The uh, bank one and bank two lean are gone. Uh, but other than that, it seems to be running okay. So what I'm hoping to do is call East Coast Supercharging and see if I can bring it down to get tuned. Now, as far as the brakes go, the brakes, it stops, but it just seems like it's mostly front brakes. The back are engaging a little bit. There was a little rust on them, so I could tell some of it's wearing out. But the fronts are clean. It stops. Uh, <laughs> I just have to deal with that stupid brake alarm going off the entire way. So as you saw earlier in the video, the coils are working. My fuel injectors are ticking. If it was getting a lean, yeah, it could be a fuel injector, but the lean went away. I drove it around for like an hour, maybe like 45 minutes. But fuel pressure seems good. You know, I don't know what else to do. So maybe once they tune it, all that stuff will go away. Who knows? Yeah, so I'm going to try and get that tune done. I really want to get this thing driving because for the foreseeable future, I may be working six, seven days a week because I have winter projects I want to do and I need money. So that double time and time and a half will come in very handy. <laughs> so that pretty much sums up this video. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, you know the deal. And uh, hopefully next week we'll have some very much needed progress. Uh, I still got a couple thousand dollars more to go into this thing between the tune, which is, I think it's going to be like 600 bucks, and uh, definitely need tires. These tires are, uh, they're summer tires. They're kind of dried out. They'll do the job just for the tune and, you know, putts around. But as far as beating on it goes, I want to get new tires before I go ahead and do that. So I'm not on uh, some slippery tires and go flying off the road because, well, that would make good kind of YouTube content, but I don't want that. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week with a tune video. Out.